All 92 people on board a Russian military plane which crashed into the Black Sea are believed to have died, according to Russia's defence ministry. The Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered an investigation into the incident. The aircraft, which was carrying members of a Russian military choir and a number of journalists, came down just minutes after taking off from Sochi en route to Syria. Well, Ashish Joshi has been following uh, this story, uh, and sadly, uh, it seems as if it's just a recovery operation now. It is just a recovery operation. As far as the Russian authorities are concerned, we've just got new pictures coming in from the search uh, site. This is uh, just off the Sochi coast, the Black Sea, uh, a resource for, for Russians. Also, where the plane stopped to refuel on its way to Syria, where those Russians are based, the Russian army is based... Um, offering support to the Syrian regime. The plane was about seven minutes into its flight when it ditched about a, a mile and a half off the coast. And the search area is, is quite shallow. It's 50 to 70 meters deep. Russian military helicopters on the site quite soon recovering debris. They have recovered a body, but they said quite early on also that they weren't expecting any survivors from this, this terrible crash. Of the passengers, the, um, the people on board, there were eight crew, nine journalists, and there was also the Alexandrov Ensemble, the famous military band, and they were on their way with their conductor for a number of concerts and New Year and Christmas concerts for, to, raise, to raise morale for troops who are based in Syria. And it's... It's already been perceived as a, a major tragedy in Russia. In fact, Monday has now been declared a national day of mourning. President Putin has ordered a national day of mourning in Russia. And that's one reason is because of this band who were on this plane. Also, also on this flight was Eliz Dr. Elizaveta Glinka, or Dr. Liza, as she was known in Russia. Famous humanitarian. She's a doctor who went to all the war zones and working for humanitarian causes, bringing children back for treatment to Russia. She, she's almost celebrity status in Russia, so that's one of the reasons why Monday is now a national day of mourning. We can listen to what the Russian Defence Ministry had to say about today's perceived accident. They're not treating it as a terrorist strike yet. Now at a distance of 1.5 kilometres off the Sochi coast at 70 metres deep, parts of the aircraft body have been discovered. The search operation continues. Four vessels and five helicopters are currently operating in the plane search area, as well as drones. Reinforcement has been dispatched to the area. So have the Russian authorities ruled out this potentially being a terrorist attack, or are they keeping all the, the options open? I think behind the scenes they'll keep all the options open. There are investigations which are ongoing. That's standard procedure. You have a military plane which ditches into the Black Sea. But what they were quite keen to stress early on is they don't believe this is a terrorist strike because this is a military plane. Had it been a civilian aircraft taking off from a civilian airport, that would have been quite a possibility. But because this is a military plane which takes off and lands inside a military uh, compound, they think that they, they are pretty secure when it comes to um, threats of terrorism strikes. But certainly, this is um, a terrible day for Russia and Monday has now been declared an official day of mourning. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible story. Ashish, thank you.